Well, that completes everybody's first attempt in one to vault at this height. It's impossible, isn't it, to quantify just exactly what home advantage really does for, for Andy, but clearly the Koreans are repping it. It's not a great crowd. I mean, that's obvious for all to see, but those are turned over really buoyed by the fact that they've got people there watching them, and they've really done or performed exceedingly well out on the, the track. They've had finalists in all the key events, including the sprints as well. They've celebrated actually reaching those finals, almost as if they've actually won a medal in particular. Uh, here that is the third of the uh, 800 metre heats. 568 there is El Gesse of Morocco. We had a look just now at the uh, dark green strip of Van Rensburg. Reinhardt Van Rensburg, who's a 145 performer, is the other class act uh, who stands out from the athletes in these three semi finals. There's the full lineup Damon of the Netherlands. Hutchinson Bola of Costa Rica. Nicholas Hartle of the USA is a 147 performer. Van Rensburg, well, he is a, a very, very good athlete. Jorian and John Diamond of the uh, Netherlands. The 23 year old goes uh, in lane one. Hasn't broken 150 this year, though. He might struggle in this sort of company. The Costa Rican. Hodgson Sambola in lane two, 153, that's all this year, he really will be out of his depth. Nicholas Hartle, good athlete, the American, uh, as we've already seen, Shaquille Walker, his compatriot, win the first semi-final impressive league, just outside 147. Van Rensburg, well he should be confident, Van Rensburg. 23 years won 145.4 this year. Delati El Gesse. Or El Guess. So that's 148.5. Performer in 2015. And the Australian, Timus Harrick. He too, 147.4 this year. Born on the 1st of January, 1993. New Year's Day baby. Renard Steffens goes in lane 7. The Latvian is a 148 performer. And then Olaf Sidorov of Russia completes the lineup. His compatriot Kuliatin was third in the first semi final. He does have one of the fastest uh, loser spots at the moment. But the uh, challenge for these men is very, very clear indeed. They need to make it quick. The third place here needs to run faster than 148.77 get a place in the finals. But who will take it out? Who will commit early in this third semi? One would think it'll be the guys who've run around 148 this year. That might be a guess of uh, Morocco in lane five. Although he hasn't gone off quick at all on the outside, the Russian Sidorov. The extreme left of picture. Probably the smallest in the field, actually. Working hard to go with this pace. It is pretty quick, and it's Van Rensburg, in fact, who picked it up after a moderate start. Go through 200, about 25 seconds, and it is indeed El Guess. And Delati El Guess of Morocco. On his shoulder, and this is Swift, 300 done. And uh, Van Rensburg looking comfortable on the inside there. And El Guess surges to the front very aggressively there. He's a 147.9 at his best, but he's determined here to make a real race of this. And that's a big acceleration through to the belt. 50.96, by far the quickest of the three semi finals that we've seen. But how long can he hang on to this? That's a, perhaps a little bit rash. As uh, he heads into the back straight, he's just run an incredibly aggressive 200 metres mid-race. He's got seven or eight metres on Van Rensburg, who's probably gauging his effort better here. In third place, the Dutchman, uh, Darman. But that's still about a seven metre lead with 200 to run. And he'll guess here, who has only run 148.57 this year. Now beginning to struggle a little bit. Van Rensburg beginning to close from the rest of them in his slipstream. Back in that third place, I think the Latvian Steppins has got some work to do yet if he wants to get in the first two. But will this be the quickest of the races? Van Rensburg just easing up with that very, very strange arm action. Hardly moves his left arm at all. Comes through strongly. It's the American Hartle. Oh, and he just misses out, I think. But it is much the quicker of the three races. And I think the first three, probably the first four, will go through that. And that could be bad news for Kuliatin of Russia and Mathis of New Zealand. The, Third and fourth places in the first semi-final, but uh, Van Rensburg very much in control there, Tim. Impressive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was indeed. As we said at the at the start, it's uh, it's likely be to, to be between he and Shaquille Walker for the gold medal here. And 
you know, c conservative performance then. He knew, you know, he knew what he had to do to qualify, and he did it. He allowed the Moroccan to go out there and bust a gut there. But what he did do is he ensured you know, the ones that should be congratulating our guests, certainly, are Nicholas Arfel, because it's brought a performance out of them. And it's going to ensure, as you said, that we get the fastest qualifiers from this heat. 50.96, they ran that first 400 in. Uh, and to put that in context, the previous semi, they went through 53 plus and 52 and a half in the opening. So Hartwell might even indeed have caught El Guess actually on the line. Well, uh, we can confirm that Hartle and Diamond both go through as fastest losers, the third and fourth places there. And look, you do have a big advantage, Jim, in the middle distances. You know, when, when you're in a latter heat, you know what the, the challenge is. And I always think that's a little bit unfair. It means the status going into the race of the men in a latter heat of qualifying race when they're fastest losers, what's up for grabs?